Hey folks, Zito here, hope you're well. Uh, this is episode three, I guess, of the cabin build, where I'm gonna go essentially into depth about uh, how we actually built our roof and, and everything. So if you'll notice that, you know, the last few videos, the last one on the build specifically, was actually a montage of our second week out at the, out at the site there, uh, where we were essentially able to put on the tin roof and everything like that. Just kind of curious, are folks into the montages? and or are they more interested in sort of the step-by-step -step tutorial type videos? Um, feel free to comment below, let me know. Uh, I'm personally loving doing both and it's kind of fun to, you know, kind of have a wrap up, but then, you know, if you really want to dig into the uh, material, you can do that as well. So yeah, I might keep delivering things that way, but uh, let me know. So anyhow, after the last, uh, last video, it was about putting up the rafters and now it's really about, uh, you know, kind of sheathing it um, throwing underlayment, so some tar paper, and then of course putting a tin roof up and everything like that. So here's what's in this particular video, and uh, here's some of the details of how we did that. So of course, after having put up the rafters from the last part of the build in the last episode, uh, we actually go, went ahead and put on some sheathing on, and we sheathed it essentially with half-inch plywood. As the roof would be approximately 12 feet wide, uh, we used four by eight sheets, uh, so one full four by eight sheet uh, along with one four x four sheet, and we would essentially place them in a way where we would have one four by eight, eight foot lengthwise, and then one four by four, four feet, of course, lengthwise. And then we would work our ways, uh, alternating the seams all the way up until we hit the ridge beam there. Uh, to keep the sheets together, we would use H clips on each sheet of the plywood on the horizontal joints. And I essentially just kind of kept them all in line and kind of kept them, yeah, essentially, just flush with one another uh, throughout the roof there. Fortunately for this part, uh, my pal Rich was actually on site and we were able to lug up the sheets relatively easily. Uh, I'm afraid if I were by myself, we would you know, probably have to use a pulley system or something like that, which we were prepared to do, but of course it was nice uh, having an extra set of hands there, of course. And then after the pieces of plywood are actually put in place by Rich and I, we would actually then use a chalk line mark essentially where our rafter was and then we would go off of course with screws and screw them into uh and screw the plywood into our rafters there we worked relatively diligently and we're actually able to get all the pieces of plywood up within a day there and we even used tuck tape in and around the seams of each piece of plywood just to make sure that we just had that extra barrier from any rain or, or water seeping through the following day, we need to protect the roof from the weather as well, uh, and so we actually had some tar felt paper. In its immediate use, tar felt paper or underlayment repels water from the roof. After the metal roof is actually installed on top, it'll also direct any condensation that builds up under the metal roof. So we busted out some tar paper, and in the same manner as the sheathing, we actually started from the bottom and worked our way to the top. Like a Drake song, pretty much, right? For this particular process, we used a uh, staple hammer and stapled the tar paper to the sheathing, uh, if there were holes from any sort of misfires or anything like that, you know, I got pretty aggressive with the damn thing. <laughs> we would actually tuck tape those holes and ensure that there just weren't any holes or gaps or anything like that. Once that was all done, we essentially had a partially weather sealed roof there. Uh, and we actually had to take a break there uh, before our next trip up. On our next trip up, we actually had returned to our tar paper uh, being covered in a fair amount of snow actually. Um, but when you go inside the house, we actually did notice that there was essentially no moisture whatsoever, so it was doing its job. As we were working on various tasks, like putting in a window in the back of our home there, uh, we actually got a shipment of the metal roofing in at the same time. Essentially, it was eight sheets of three foot by 16 foot long uh, pieces of metal roofing from Ideal Roofing here in Ottawa, Canada. We actually ended up getting the Americana profile, uh, which they mentioned was one of the more popular profiles. And they gave us actually about 500 screws that were that were painted the same color. And the color we of course went with was uh, forest green here for this particular build. I've always kind of fell in love with that style of roof and also this particular color. So yeah, it was kind of super exciting getting this and then throwing it up. It just freaking looked beautiful to be quite honest with you. But before it all went up, we actually started by putting up uh, fascia or rake boards up to the ridge beam. These were essentially the same as the rafters that went on all the ends there, uh, the ends of the 12 foot sections of our roof to help better support our sheathing and also of course uh, the roofing material. Of course the metal roof that would go on top of that as well. After we put up these rake boards, we also put a drip edge on the rake board itself and also on the piece of plywood. Uh, and yeah, essentially that just essentially helps 
any water that runs down your edge uh, run right down to the bottom there. So once we actually got the metal sheets in place, uh, we actually had pre-drilled holes on the ground before we brought them up. So it was pretty easy. We would take the screws essentially, uh, we would use a drill, not a drill hammer because the metal material on there was actually relatively fragile if you were gonna be hammer drilling. So we actually had a drill at a setting of about eight or so and then uh, ended up drilling all our screws in as required there. This particular process happened pretty damn quick. We honestly were about to finish most of the roof in, uh, in about a day and a bit. Uh, I think it would have been faster if had we done them before in the past. But yeah, of course, this kind of being my first time, uh, I found it a breeze. Uh, and yeah, it's a beautiful process and a beautiful roof. So I'm pretty stoked all in all. I don't have a full price cap of everything just yet. I believe the metal roof itself is probably closer to a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars or so. Um, I'll have that full breakdown coming up later on. Uh, I'm super stoked on how it came out. Uh, next up uh, for the actual build will be the windows and the whole front side of things. I've also bought cedar shakes. I think I'm gonna put cedar shakes on the front uh, and tails and noses of skateboards for the back and everything like that. Um, yeah, it's starting to shape up and uh, we have a G stove. I'm gonna probably throw that through, uh, probably end up drilling that in and filling that through the roof. Um, yeah, all the things essentially. Uh, can't thank folks enough for following along. And again, if you have comments or questions or anything like that, feel free to comment below. Uh, there's also the builds progressing throughout uh, Instagram as well. There's a lot of tidbits there as well. So yeah, thank you so much. And um, yeah, have a great one. Check you out in the next video. Peace.